Hello guys, this is Magic Tray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for Mafia. We are using large frame buffer, custom resolution of 2560x1440p native, 16 times anisotropic filtering, net mapping is off, full direct 3D recommended, advanced settings, we have nothing on shader configuration, texture filtering of display, and FXAA shader is on. We are using Direct3D 11 hardware and bilinear PS2. Now keep in mind, if you're someone that's going to be playing Mafia, you may want to use OpenGL on, a new, uh, on one of the newest PCSX2 versions, preferably the November or December 2017 Git versions. Since I'm using the May 2017, and it has a lot of slowdown compared to the newest ones. I will get a new one soon. But um, that's about it for that. Emulation settings. I highly recommend MTVU due to the slowdown of this game. This game is quite demanding to use, uh, to run. I would use the MTVU hack. You need three plus cores. I have six cores. So if you have more than three cores, it should be fine. Let's check out the dimensions of this game. Now this game targets 640 by 512. This is what it looks like. And the frame rate, this game, the frame rate, yeah, the game targets 30 frames per second, but that's only the core game that targets 30 frames. There are some things in this game, like the map right here, that actually target 50 frames per second. That's for the PAL version. If you have this NTSC version of this game, the uh, map navigation will target 60 frames per second. Also, if there's, there's a race in this game that also targets 50 frames per second as well, or 60 frames per second depending on which region you use. But the rest of the core game targets 30 frames, and what you're seeing right now is 30 frames. Let's have a look at native 1440p. Now you had a look at native PS2, you saw how many jaggies there were, you saw how many, uh, how much blurry it was compared to native 1440p. Now keep in mind this game came out in 2001, so the textures are very outdated and it looks very blocky and blurry just look at this at native 1440p so the initial internal resolution for native ps2 doesn't really affect it too much compared to native 1440p but what we see on native 1440p is a boost of anisotropic filtering at 16 times so the aliasing is pretty much it's pretty bare minimal at native ps2 uh native ps2 native 1440p at four um at a uh, hardware mode on hardware mode sorry um, and if we go back to native PS2, there's a lot more shimmering on the ground. As you see, the aliasing starts to take effect right at the back tire, the back left tire of that car. So this game has a pretty high texture filtering. I'm going to say trilinear. I could be wrong. And also the buildings have a huge effect as well, the further you go back. But other than that, Holds up quite well for 640 by 512, but that's about it really. Now keep in mind my frame count on the top left, it says 50 but the game targets 30 as I said. It's holding quite well, it's holding a very nice 30 right now. And I got ran over. But that's pretty much it really. If you go in demanding scenes with a lot of things on the screen, you will jump into a lot of uh, slowdown. I'm trying to find some slowdown now, but it doesn't seem like it's going to affect it. Oh, I realized. Got to go to native 1440p. Here's another look at native 1440p. All the slowdown starts to happen on the hardware version. Software, it runs perfectly fine. So if you guys want to play this, it does a great job at it on software mode. Or if you use OpenGL on a brand new graphics card or a modern day PCSX2 uh, version, you should be fine. Keep in mind, you're going to have to download a patch as well for this game because this game can't pass the first or second, no, the second or third mission because um, it has a, it starts to hang in one of the missions. So you have to download a patch to play this from start to finish. I have finished the game. I found it quite all right, actually. But other than that, that's pretty much everything you need to know about Mafia. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you later.